In South Africa, after nearly two decades, a new rain queen who is said to have rain-making abilities is to be crowned Princess Masalanaboa Mujeji, this coming after the installation of her own brother, Prince Lekukela, in a traditional ceremony in 2022 and almost ended two centuries of queenship rule in the Baobedu Kingdom in Limpopo. In today's video, we will be looking at the complex events that led to her final coronation and a look at the complex relationship between traditional law and customs to modern laws and policy. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. So just to give a brief backstory, Princess Maisel Anaboa was born on the 20th of January 2005. She became heir presumptive to the throne shortly after her mother had passed away at the tender age of 27 within that same year. After only serving as Queen of the Kingdom for two years, after succeeding her grandmother, so at only five months old, she became heir to the Balobedu Queenship that has been in place for 200 years. So since she was only a baby at the time, a regent had been put in place her uncle, Prince Mpapatla Mujaji, until she came of age. The initial plan was for her to become queen once she turned 18. However, this did not happen. In a twist of fate, Prince Lekukela Mujaji, her older brother, was installed as king of the Balabedu Kingdom. The traditional ceremony, not legal coronation, in terms of the laws of South Africa, took place in October 2022, breaking 200 years of female rule. Now, you may be asking yourself, why did this happen? To briefly explain, when the previous ruler, Queen Makobo Mujaji, passed away, Way. There was a lot of conflict and confusion, which you can hear about in my previous video of the Rain Queens, which you can see in the link above the screen that highlights the history of the Rain Queens and some recent events not commonly spoken about. So because of this, Princess Masalanab al Mujeji was not actually raised in the Balabedu Kingdom, but was fostered from childhood by ANC National Executive Committee member Matho Macheka, who was also legal advisor at the time to the previous queen. Macheka and his wife, the Minister of Basic Education, Angie Macheka, had raised Prince Mazelanabo in another province as her foster parents after the death of her mother, Queen Makobo Mujeji VI, in 2005. So because of this fact, this brought about a cultural contention, as already in 2019, the Mujeji royal family accused Macheka of turning Princess Masalanaboa against them to allegedly hijack the throne. However, he had rejected the accusation as based the basis of this faction's accusation was that, by nature the Mujeji royal family and practices have always been a private matter and kept in the dark, resulting in all previous queens being raised in isolation except the previous queen, as it's reported that the princess had missed several divine and sacred processes in their culture and traditions as a potential heir. At the time, the Mujeji Royal Council spokesperson said Queen Makobo VI's successor was already a done deal. Deal. He is quoted as saying, The Royal Council has decided Prince Lukukela must become king. He is king-elect. There is no way Princess Mezalanabo can take over from her brother. We are done from the cultural point. We will be writing letters to the presidency to give us a date for the coronation of the king. We have done everything humanly possible to bring Princess Mezalanabo back home to the royal crawl so that the rituals of identification could take place come to a logical conclusion that she would be the right person. But because of her absence, we continued with the one who was present. However, due to this, she was expected to play a different role within the royal family. He said, stating that should she come back, the only position that would be reserved for her was that of Nkatikolo, which means a great end, this having the presumption of showing how they would not abandon her, which is tough to read between the lines. So this being the basis for the traditional coronation of Prince Lekukela Mujaji, as he had been raised in the nation, alongside his late mother and great-grandmother Queen Moko P. Majaji V, until the age of eight, having practiced cultural rituals and customs as he grew older. The other point to his coronation is that before queens, kings had actually ruled, as the Balabedu kingdom can trace its roots as far as the ancient kingdom of Monomatapa. It has been said by members of the royal council and few locals that the rain-making powers are not attributed to one person, rather it's a collective of different members of the royal family who have the powers to work together to do the rain-making ritual. Another side to the story is that other people, who are also part of the family, as confirmed by the Royal Council had formed themselves under another council 
consisting of the Makotos, Mahashas, and several other branches of the royal family. They had stated last year in 2022 that to them and the government of South Africa, they recognize the princess as the rightful heir to the throne, and that if it does happen, a king is to sit on the throne, the Mujeji side of the family will not be able to take the throne, and that the other branches of the family will be eligible instead, with majority specifically siding with the Makoto branch of the royal family. So basically, if there is a move from queenship to a kingship in the Balabedu kingdom, they say the throne will have to move from the Mujajdi side to the Makoto side of the royal family. However, they also believed it would be a difficult process to convince the government to change to kingship status. However, another twist of fate, legally, is that the Balabedu kingdom has queenship status, as previously mentioned, after previously being relegated to senior traditional leadership status by the apartheid government. Former President Jacob Zuma and current President Cyril Ramaphosa have both acknowledged the restoration of queenship status of the Balabedu Kingdom. To add on top of this, the Mujeji Royal Council, in 2006 after the previous queen passed away, had submitted the princess name as heir when the government had requested only one name of whom the regent was standing on behalf of as they designated regent. This resulting in years of friction and confusion culminating in two factions within the royal family who are led by the Majeji Royal Council, with both factions supporting the sibling they think is the rightful heir, both of which, since childhood, had been pitted against one another and being involved in a game of politics and succession from a very young age, with each camp saying the one is the rightful heir, with their matter being handled in the courts, displaying how complex the situation has been, and showing the relation between modern and traditional customary law, another example of this being in the Zulu Kingdom, where culture had dictated who the heir is, this being the current king, as his mother had been a great wife, but the matter had been taken to court, resulting in a judge having to make a decision on which prince was to take the throne, which can be a good and bad thing depending on the specific circumstances that can at times impact ancient traditions and customs that have been in place for generations. However, it seems as though a consensus has been reached as now the princess has been endorsed by the royal council and is said to be called coronated in August, after previous plans to coronate her in April of this year. The chairperson of the council had this to say about the princess. We know Maisel Anabo as the new reign queen, and we are going to respect her and support her throughout. If that needs to change, there's a whole process that must happen. Now the Balo Bedu as a whole, the new incoming queen is Maisel Anabo, who is the queen of the Balladu. So, as previously mentioned in my previous video, let us hope for a peaceful and impactful coronation ceremony. And if you had enjoyed this video, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. And please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And who knows, maybe let's have a conversation on this topic.